Hello, my friends. It's Andy over at the Facebook Live TV show, and uh, I am in my teaching desk or at the teaching desk because it is hot in my studio. <laughs> I know I was just back in there, uh, but the temperatures changed outside. And again, I got to get air conditioner inside that studio uh, because when it's sunny outside, man, oh, man, oh, man, it is hot in that garage. I mean, that studio. <laughs> So um, uh, I can't wait to tell you what I hate about this 100-day ClickFunnels boot camp that I'm in. And I've decided to broadcast out on the Facebook Live TV show because what I'm about to tell you has a lot to do with what I think everybody needs to know. And I know that I'm syndicating into Create a Launch of Profit, into all my private groups, into the Mastermind Retreat and the Masters Facebook page and the Experts News Network and all of those because I think this is uh, – for me, I, it seems to me that it's really important because it's the one thing that I hate – and I hate about this this course in a sense, but I also love about this course. So um, we're going to talk about those things in a minute. At, at minimum, what I would encourage you to do, uh, and again, you can love or hate Russell Brunson, but I'm telling you, one of the things you might want to get is his book called the Dot Com Secret. Actually, it should be Secrets Book. The Dot Com Secrets Book. I'll put the uh, URL mm -hmm. in the chat here, and I did put it in the description, so you can click on either uh, the URL that's in the description or the one here in the comment section. Uh, and at, at minimum, get the book. Um, I don't have it here. I have the Expert Secret Book here, but or else I'd show it to you. And I don't know what I did with it. I, I know that I have it on my Kindle, but I'm, I'm guessing I left it on a plane in a little pouch up there, which I, I leave crap in there all the time. Uh, I left a mic, my Sure mic. I had to get a new Sure mic because I left it in there. Oh, hey, vague. So anyway, at minimum, get the, not this book, get the dot .com secret book. Uh, click on the URL. Uh, it's free, uh, plus shipping if you don't like it. If you think I'm wrong and you don't think, just call them up and they will uh, send you back your money. But it is definitely worth it. Uh, and so uh, let me uh, talk about a couple things. And then I'll, what I'll do is also I'll give you the link to sign in because I'm going to encourage you that you at least get into the 100 day uh, boot camp because it is free completely. Uh, and you're going to need to want to click on and watch the videos on days, I think probably day. When did the soap opera sequence start? I wanted a uh, uh, sequence start. I think it was uh, day eight, I think, somewhere in there. Watch the videos from day eight to today, which is day 13, because uh, you're going to. You're, I think some of you, not all of you, but some of you uh, may struggle with what I is. So what I is, <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting my English from. All right. So let me get rid of this and um, uh, show number one thing I hate. What I hate is they are pointing out the obvious things that I should know. And this happens, this is happening, been throughout, this has been happening throughout the training. I don't know why I can't speak today. I also have to die to LAX and pick up a dog that's coming in from Ireland. But uh, what I, what, what they're doing is they, they keep coming up with things that I go, I know this stuff and why am I not doing it? Or I know this stuff or I should know this stuff. And so they're pointing out the obvious that really is just kicking my butt and I, and I kind of need it. And I hate it. I wish they would say, well, the stuff you're thinking that you need to do, you really don't need to do. It's really not necessary. But instead, uh, there's that happening. Also, the things that just totally make sense, like frick. Uh, and so let's talk about at least what we're learning today in day 13 of um, the 100 day uh, challenge. And that is uh, one thing that they talked about is that when you're creating, hey, April, I love you, April. Um, and what I, what I like, um, what I don't like, what I don't like about what they taught today is that I should know that when you're setting up your Facebook ads and you're, you're going to do it based on a like audience or a similar audience is that the audience you want to use. And, and this is one thing that I know that I've not done well when I've done like audiences, I've done like audience in the people that have visited an ad or watched the video. And on the surface, you're thinking, yeah, you want people, you want people to uh, that you're advertising, advertising to, are those people that have watched your stuff, right? Paid attention to your stuff, actually looked at your ads, or looked on a video that you put on your Facebook page, uh, uh, or on your uh, squeeze page, or your landing page, and that kind of stuff. And that may be true to a certain extent, but what you really want to do is you want to have like audiences or similar audiences to those that have actually bought your stuff. 
<laughs> right? Does that not make better sense, right? And I, and so, and, but it's a little bit harder, right? There's a little bit of a trick to it. And what we learned in the in the lesson is that how do you find those people that have gone a little bit farther? And there are uh, things that you need to do, obviously, to keep track of what is working and what's not working. And so, um, that is something, man. I did, I was at a restaurant eating lunch when I was watching the the, the day thirteen video, and just like going, gosh. That, it's, I, that makes total sense. And I don't know why I, I did not go that far. I did not go that far into, you know, when I'm learning about Facebook ads and it, it, it's in it, its own, it's gotten easier, a little bit better. They've changed their uh, dashboard on their ads manager and that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, you're just simply just clicking around and saying like audiences of uh, people who've liked my stuff, people who visited my Facebook page. I want more of them. Well, how many of those people went on and left, right? How many of those went on and found you annoying and left? And so I'm marketing to people that find me annoying. I'm finding, uh, I'm, I'm marketing those people that kind of liked what I did. And I'm marketing to some people that really loved what I did. Why not just market to the people who really loved what I did? Would that not be a better thing to do? Uh, a better use of your money, right? Instead of wasting it on other people that just like to look and see how silly you are and then click off, instead of paying for them to click and then make fun of me. Uh, why not pay for the people that loved, you know, the similar people that loved what I did that are more likely to continue to love what I did or start loving what I'm doing now, right? And so uh, that really made me angry. That, uh, <laughs> like, fudge. Uh, and so if, uh, if anything, if you decide to get into the 100 day bootcamp challenge, just watch the, the series of videos that talks about the email sequences, the soap opera, uh, the Facebook ads, you know, how to keep track. Um, they give you even a, an Excel spreadsheet to uh, keep track of, of the different uh, type of analytics that you need to keep track of so you can really figure out where your money is going and that kind of stuff. Wow, I'm getting tons of messages here. Um, and so um, that is the, the, the first thing that I hate. Uh, that I actually, I guess, love. I hate it, but I love it, and it's actually working out. Uh, what else did I put in my notes here? When uh, creating like audience, yep, that was it. It should be um, it should be of those who have committed to more than just simply watching your video, All right? Uh, number two, what I hate about this 100 Day Click Funnels challenge is, I hate that I'm learning how much I don't know. <laughs> Just when I thought, you know, I started, I'm an expert in this stuff and I'm speaking from stage now and I'm, I got these Facebook lives and I got followers. I got people going into my private groups and paying to be in my private groups that I've set up. Uh, and I, I just begin to think, well, you know, I kind of know stuff and people, you know, uh, seem to confirm that I know stuff because they are asking me to do things like speak on their stage and that kind of stuff. And then I go through this hundred day challenge and then daily I'm reminded of how little I know about stuff. Uh, and maybe even some aspects, how little that I remember from what I have learned, right? I, again, there's things that you get reminded of while going through a training that you learned at, say, an Ed Rush uh, consult and profit uh, seminar or uh, Mike Koenig's on a webinar that he did in regard to uh, how do you attract uh, more people to what it is you're doing. And you get reminded like, God, I was told that and I never did anything about it or I never took a note. And I'm sorry, I keep looking to the left, but I have my phone over here and the messages are just like the hammering in from all over the planet. Um, but uh, I will try not to look. I'm going to turn my phone upside down. Um, but I'm reminded of how little I know. And um, I hate that. I hate not knowing. Uh, and I hate forgetting stuff that I should know and not using it. So um, what I what I actually hate, these two things, is what I love about this training in that it's um, it, the most for the most part, other than when uh, Russell's teaching for the, his are about an hour to an hour and a half long uh, teachings, which is fine. You just got to make sure and do it you know, late at night after I put the kids to bed uh, or early in the morning before they wake up or after they leave when I go to lunch and sit at lunch and I watch a whole video while I'm eating, eating lunch. Um, but lately, the videos have been a lot shorter. They've been, you know, 15 to 30 minutes and, and been been very powerful. And again, they've been taking you step by step in the Facebook ma ads manager. Uh, I guess there is one thing I really do hate in that Facebook changes so often. So what I'm seeing them do on their screen, some of those, those things are no longer available or now they've added some stuff. So now I have buttons on my Facebook manager that aren't being covered in the training. And I don't know what to do with those buttons because now it adds like, well, shoot, should I, should I click on that? Should I change that to something else? <laughs> uh, should I type something in there? I, I don't know. And so, um, you know, so it adds a little bit more to where I have to stop the video, kind of analyze what the new thing that's not on their video uh, really means and how to do it. But, um, you know, there's no way around that. And as long as you're, you're going to be using Facebook, you got to realize that a, a video, a training video on Facebook is going to be outdated almost by the, you know, that evening. If you did in the morning, it'll probably be outdated by that evening. And uh, it's uh, it's really, really tough to keep up, 
keep up with. So uh, those two things are the things I hate. I, I hate that um, they are uh, pointing out the obvious. And um, uh, and and again, I, I'm, I'm using a little bit of tongue in cheek because uh, it's it's necessary. Right. It's necessary to be reminded of, of things that you got to really think through just a little bit more as you're putting out your marketing, as you're putting out your message on your Facebook lives, as you're doing more of your stuff. You want to kind of take another step for, uh, uh, you know, into it and think, what is my goal? How is it that I reach more people? that are interested in what I'm doing. Is it simply, do I just want people that kind of like what I'm doing or do I want people, you know, raging fans? Now, how do I find raging fans? Where do I find that? Well, you find raging fans by going deeper into the, the folks that have gone past the, you know, the people that are in my private groups and paid the, that are paying the $9.99 a month, which is going to go up uh, to, uh, yeah, I believe right now I've decided I'm going up another couple bucks to 10 99 a month. And um, so I want more of those people, right? Right. So those are the types of people I want to market to. And that's easy. All I do is go to all the people, the I think it's like 50 people, maybe it's 60 now, 60 people that are in my private groups. I, I take them and I want to market to more people like them, not the people that clicked on the uh, the gate itself. And then after watching the video, decided not to go in. I don't want to I don't want more of them. Right. Because they've only clicked and decided they didn't want to go in. Why would I be marketing to those people? I want to market to the people that actually got out their credit card, connected to PayPal and, and paid for that. I want more of them. All right. So that makes a lot more sense. Sense. And then uh, don't be afraid of uh, of what it is that you don't know, you know, and, and embrace it and say, well, this training is teaching me a lot of stuff that I probably should have known. By now, I, there's I think there's things that I should know that are being pointed out that I don't know. And so I, I although I kind of hate it, it's de definitely necessary uh, for me to move forward into this digital marketing aspect because it's great that I could put kind of like videos together, products together, teach people how to uh, do a, a, you know, a Facebook uh, video uh, for their cover sheet or for, for their cover page, cover sheet. Wow. I just went back uh, cover page for the Facebook page, right? It's not that I can put together a program and teach that, but how is it, how do I get it out to the people to buy it that need to see it? And uh, how do I get people to buy it? Right. And that, that is what I'm learning now. So it really is good. So at least I would get the book, the dot-com secrets book, because it talks about all these things that I'm bringing to you now in that book. And at least I'm going to get you the uh, the bitly um, uh, ba, 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 a bitly URL to get the to get the <laughs> where to go there it is affiliate bootcamp to get the affiliate bootcamp it's again it's free and I know that I push I've been pushing this uh, on you guys because but it's only because I like it and because I think it's uh, bootcamp URL. And I would sign up, get it. Uh, again, if you just don't do the 100 days, right? And uh, they, I'm sure they don't want me telling you this, but I would say at least wherever it starts where it says soap opera uh, sequence, watch that. I think that's very powerful. The, the information before it, it leads you up to the, to the, to the soap opera, but at least uh, in the soap opera sequence, what they, when they teach you about what you do in the soap opera sequence, it really teaches you about email, your autoresponders in your email. And I know many of you that, that watch this are either using TPNI, you know, which used to be a uh, traffic geyser and instant customer, or you're using Infusionsoft, or you're using some other CRM where you're sending out autoresponders and emails, that soap opera one is very powerful to teach you what it is that those autoresponders need to be and need to look like so you can get people to click. And then the uh, the Facebook ads, creating Facebook ads, make sure and watch that video. And then there's one called the Seinfeld, which is uh, another great uh, video on the, the emails that come after the soap opera, uh, soap opera email sequence. Uh, and again, very good stuff, very good information, fantastic, uh, you know, um, uh, strategy uh, to stay in contact with your list and keep them interested in what it is you're doing and continually sending them to the stuff that you think is going to make a difference in their life. And then today, you know, it was just about, uh, you know, about further diving deeper into the Facebook uh, uh, ads manager and uh, how to um, analyze what it is that's coming in based on who's clicking, who's staying, who's buying, who's not, and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and just a very powerful uh, uh, training sequence. So I put that uh, that link into this description or into the comment section. And so make sure and click on that. 
And uh, there you go. I just wanted to get on really quickly. Uh, and again, I know that I just took off the syndication from the 100 Day Click Funnels, and this is coming from the Facebook Live TV show. Many of you are saying, well, "You got so many things going on." I know, and there's a reason. And in, in many cases, it's working. I know that it could work better uh, because through this training, I've learned some strategies that are going to even work better. That I will start implementing. You will begin to see them. But I think this message is good for everybody that. Um, when you're creating digital stuff, when you're coaching and you're using Facebook, that you need to be aware of some of these things that are super, super important. It is one thing to be able to do a really good Facebook Live because I hear people all the time saying, well, I'm doing these Facebook Lives, but I'm not monetizing them. I'm doing these Facebook Lives, but I don't see any results. Well, I'm telling you the stuff that you can learn uh, by getting into something like the 100 Day Bootcamp with ClickFunnels, which is free, or even somebody else that knows what they're doing, that is what it is. That's what you need, right? There, there's a lot of things that I know that I'm dealing with, uh, I've dealt with employees that I, I want to get the paycheck. I just don't want to do all the work that gets me the paycheck, right? That's kind of what we have here, right? We, uh, I'm great at creating content. I'm great at shooting videos and I put it all together, put it in a good jobby thing. But gosh, this, you know, that Facebook stuff seems like so much work and analyzing and that kind of stuff. And yeah. But if you want to make the money, if you want to have more people buying what it is that you have uh, and you're wondering why you're not selling it, it it's the answer is probably in the uh, the days that I'm talking about right here in the 100 day uh, uh, boot camp. Um, uh, because it, it strictly talks about now what you created this thing, you've got a com some people coming. How do you get them to click and actually purchase? How do you get them more people like them? Yeah, that, that, they got like one person, right? You got two people, three people. You got them to click on what it is that you have. Now, how do I find more of them, right? There is a way to do it, and it really isn't that hard. If you were to spend an hour, two hours a day just doing that and nothing else, unlike me who tries to do 10 things a, you know, a day. But if you, if I were just to just focus on doing this one thing, I know that I, I would be far more successful in the digital marketing aspect. Uh, but because I got the other crap going on that actually is paying my bills right now, I, it's hard for me to, to just do that one thing. But I know there's gonna become a time, there's going to come a time uh, that I am going to be able to just focus on that one thing. And I think it's gonna be very powerful because I see the results when I do it, when I follow direction, I see how powerful it is and see that it works. All right. So um, there you go. That is. So just click on those things. That, uh, you can either, I would probably get the boot camp or, or, uh, or both. <laughs> uh, I happen to do both. I happen to get the books. There's two books. There's this one and then the, the dot com secret one, which I gave you the link on. Uh, and then there is um, t uh, tap into large tribes. Yes. Yes, uh, there is that aspect, right? You can tap into large tribes and you're bound to find somebody in there. Uh, but a, a greater tribe is the, is the Facebook world overall, right? Is it easier to get into a Facebook community and begin to kind of slowly market in there and, and, and in some cases piss people off? Like the, the people that watch my stuff, they've decided to watch it, right? They're either on one of my pages or... Um, either on one of my pages <laughs> uh, or I'm using some of my other groups that I belong to and with their permission, be able to do that. But with a good Facebook ad, you can get directly on somebody's timeline because they have similar desires and have the same pain that your thing solves. And through a Facebook ad, uh, having the power of Google Analytics behind it to figure out who those people are, because the better you are at doing it, the better Facebook is at finding out who those people are. And you're going to get, and, I, and maybe that's what you're talking about, April, is that you're going to get into a larger tribe because you've been able to figure out who it is that needs and wants and, and actually is, um, is, is rabid about having one of those things that you're offering or the thing that you're offering. And you're going to find those people easier if you understand how to use Facebook ads and how to use the power of what they put together in regard to algorithms and like audiences and that kind of stuff. And this is where um, this ClickFunnels uh, bootcamp is right now. Again, uh, I'm only telling you because it's free and you can just simply register and sure you'll get a bunch of stuff, uh, advertising and that kind of stuff. You just have to opt out or click off of it or whatever. Uh, but there's not a lot that they, that they offer that I don't uh, like and haven't been able to use. So. There you go. Uh, that's my advertisement uh, to you. All right, that is it. Uh, again, the links are in there. I'd click on both of them 
and get both of those things at, at the most it's going to call you eight bucks for shipping and handling for the for the one book <clears throat> and i think it comes with some other stuff that i think you'll find very good all right that is it i hope you have a great day i have a very busy day i gotta uh, go pick up a dog that's flying in from ireland uh so if you are not a if you are if you are a dog fan and you want to find out what it takes to get a dog here from northern ireland i'm going to be broadcasting from the falco canine academy facebook page um not throughout the day but every, every so often i think i'm planning on at least doing two or three facebook lives as i'm going through the process of picking up this dog um it doesn't always go well i have to deal with some very angry customs officials apparently that hate their job and they are miserable people if you ever need to ship something in and you have to go through customs to get it just expect that you are going to meet some of the angriest people on the planet at, at customs those custom officers and again i'm a law enforcement officer uh from uh you know years and years and years and so i but these people sit in a desk behind a big glass piece of plate glass and they're angry people <laughs> for whatever reason i can't explain it they'll sit there and they'll eat they'll you know they'll eat a peach and uh, and talk to their fellow officers for about an hour before they actually acknowledge that you're at the window no lie i promise you uh if i can bring that to you tonight i'm going to try to bring that to you i know they get pissed off when you uh re video record them uh but uh, it is a funny thing that they will stand there and pick their nose for a very long period of time doing nothing and then suddenly, oh, oh you're standing there, How, you know, uh, and then they give you crap about the paperwork, which uh, I hire somebody to do it. I, I, it cost me something like two hundred to three hundred dollars to have somebody do all the paperwork to get this dog in there. And they are always, you know, they always want to try to find something that uh, that they can uh, just prolong your agony. Uh, and make you stand there for about two or three hours before they actually give you this dog. Now, understand, the dog has been on a flight now for 14 hours. They're going to make the dog stay there for another three hours on the tarmac while they dick around uh, with their paperwork. I'm already angry. I'm not even there yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you want to see the shenanigans that happens with picking up a dog coming in from Europe, uh, uh, go to the Falco Canine Academy and uh, Facebook page and I will see you there. All right. I hope this was helpful either way. Um, and so uh, click on one of those links or just uh, join the 100 day uh, Facebook, uh, 100 day ClickFunnels Bootcamp Facebook page that I created and, and go there and just follow uh, the day to day stuff that I do there. This is going to count as my day 13 training. I'm syndicating uh, live into that uh, Facebook page right now using LiveLeap. And um, and there you go. All right. So that's my day 13 report on the training for the ClickFunnels via the Facebook Live TV show. April, thank you for joining me. And uh, I saw a, a few other people popping on and off. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Um, and feel free to uh, let me know if you have any questions by commenting in the comment section if you're watching the replay, no matter where you're watching it. All right, take care. And I will see you a little bit later on if you're going to be watching the Falco Canyon Academy Facebook page. All right, talk to you later. Bye.